I see a dove at the window just ready to fly. Like, it's almost like your hands would be fluttering, you know, like the wings, just wanting to fly out the window to Moscow. Okay. Could you, uh, Olga, would you please look, study her, her dove-like pose and see how you can fit your dream into it by making physical contact with her also in a realistic manner. You can put the script down. Oh, it's, oh unless it's you want to use papers, it. Oh, it's in my papers. Okay, radio, okay. My papers. Sure, it's fine. You can use it, yeah. Yeah, follow your impulse. I think it was to put, wasn't you going to put it around the other side of her foot? In back? Yeah, it was. Yeah, do that, do that. Okay. Yeah. Because it's her dream that's pulling yeah, you forward. That's what I feel like. That's, Good. And I want to leave this behind. But me. it seems like you wanted it behind, but it's stopping you, isn't it? It is. So what can you do with it to project that it's stopping you? It's pulling you back? A little bit. But why don't you bring them to you? The papers? Yeah, like in a dilemma. Choice between two. Th so do your pose. Do your pose. You don't want the papers to be too high or too low. Let me see, since you can't see yourself, of course. I feel like I'm attaching myself to her energy. That's right. Because she's very pure and in her dream and in her focus. She's not weighed down with anything. That's what I feel like. As if you were stroking her lovingly. Yeah. You're going to almost live vicariously through her. That's what I, I also feel like I need yeah. for her to, to, to hope and to push forward for me to Even, be able yeah. to move. Yeah. That's right. That's good. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I am in my tablet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Beulah, peel I me a grape. <laughs> <laughs> that you are, but let us have you seated. You yeah, and you can have yeah, a book in good. hand also. I think that would help. But you could sit, okay. but a little over that way, mm -hmm. so that you fit more into their picture and maybe. You want to be part of them, so you can find a way of touching them, but also you're being weighted down by, oh, okay. by your so burden. My idea was that yes, going to break free. So you're talking about the beginning of the play. Well, I'm talking about the seed oh. of what you want in the play to break free, but hmm. That's interesting. But then where would your mind be? Well, for me, I guess the character is um, is just really, really stuck and in in her sadness. Do what you, you know? just did. Like this. Stuck in her sadness. Just like that. You just stuck when you said stuck in your sadness. You, you're, uh, it, it was like you were just really that energy was right here. Okay. You know what I mean? You really had that energy. Very good. Remember when we did the seed improvs? Seed for finding the emotional seed and sculpting your body to it? This is its application to a text. What have you learned just by finding the pose? You can relax now, ladies. That's good. What have you learned by the tableau? What has come out? I feel that Moscow is what I really want and where I really want to go because I've been here so long working and I'm not married, so perhaps that new, in that new beginning, I'll be able to find someone. Interesting. Now, so if I just told you that, you'd say, oh, well, I don't know, because you didn't experience it. But what you experience, you know. That's realization, isn't it? It's an aha moment. It's, it's an aha. It's a little, little realization comes in small doses, you know, until sometimes, I guess, it comes big for us, huh? You're shaking your head so you know. Yeah, no, definitely. It definitely um, seems to, well, it just seems to get the feeling flowing. Yeah, but you start, okay, see, if you have an understanding intellectually, mm -hmm. and you find that intellectual understanding in your body, mm -hmm. what are we releasing? 
Are you releasing the emotion? Yes, but that is pranayana, the control of the flow of muscular energy. So you want to move energy. The moment you begin to move energy and the, the soul finds its body, it clicks, it becomes psychophysical. That's why our analysis is active, because it's got to be psychophysical. Or you reincarnate when you find the psychophysical life of the character. Okay, good. So we've already discovered a lot because you can apply that much. Jess, would you please come on stage? Let me ask you all a few questions as an ensemble. Now this, we're not going to really stage the three sisters or even stage a scene today. What we're going to do is we're going to use the first steps of active analysis to learn how to analyze a text on our feet. The, one of the first things we do is we create the story of the play. Originally, I may never not say, you know, what the play is and just ha give out a scenario with change of names and give you some improvisations to do and then gradually move you towards the story of the play. Now, let's imagine that we have read the play and that now we're going to tell each of you the, the story as if it were a novel. Now, this is imagination. Remember imagination, how important it is to see a lot of images in your mind? Why do we do this? We want to attain the state of I am, I exist. And it begins by telling your character's autobiography and by telling the story of the play in the first person as if you are in the character's shoes. And what that does, it helps you achieve that interior state that says I exist in this situation. Because until you do, you really can't go on and find the actions. You need to make those choices out of being in the situation. You understand? You need to be able to think in the character situation. So who would like to start just by telling me what's the first thing that happens in the play? Okay, uh, Melinda. I wake up. <laughs> no, um, yeah. it is uh, Rina's birthday. Should we talk in the first person? Yeah, talk okay. in the first person. I wake up and it is my saint's day. And it's finally a beautifully sunny day. <sighs> And there's just this sense of joy. Sense of joy. And what do you do? I get up and I take a out of white dress to wear for my day. And why is that significant? Because we've been mourning for a year, and although this is the anniversary of our father's death, um, I need to celebrate. I'm so tired of being sad, and. I, this is a day where we're all going to be happy. And I'm determined to have my sisters feel the same way. Good. That is an objective for you in the opening scene toward your sisters to make you, de I am determined to make my sisters be happy too. That's right. To end the morning, right? Because it is spring. It's, okay. it's Russia's late spring, so new life, new beginning. Very good, exactly. And what is the, the next thing that happens? You come into the drawing room and you arrange flowers and you greet your sister. And uh, what, what ha what's the first thing that happens for you in the play? Well, when I woke up this morning, I woke up with a headache because I think I go to bed with a lot of anxiety. I'm constantly working and I'm constantly um, teaching, so I don't have a lot of time for myself. And, um, I've been the mother of my sisters and of Andre for a long time now, uh, since our mother died. And so, but when I see my sister, and she looks so beautiful, and she's already become a woman, and she's wearing that gorgeous white dress, I can see her wedding, something that I had always dreamed of, but I'm probably not going to have because I'm just too old. I'm tired and my head hurts, but I want to be happy for her, and I am happy for her, and I want to be happy for her day. Um, but I have to finish my work, so of course I'm, I'm grading papers before the party starts and before um, everyone starts arriving to greet her and wish her well. Very good. And Masha, what has your day been like and what brought well, you here? Well, um, I am the kind of person that sticks in my mood and I right now am not too happy and I'm still dressed in black, not so much for the mourning of my father still, but I'm just mourning life in general because I am not happy with my husband. 
and so I am actually reading a book in the scene and in my mind in in my own world you know with the metaphor of my depression and the poetry I'm reading um, you know I'm wanting to escape escape uh, and, and I'm struggling with with you know kind of being present with my sisters and and being happy for her saints. I want to, I love her, but I'm just so in my mood that um, I can't shake it. That's wonderful. That's a very Russian. That's very Russian temperament. Not for everyone, of course, but the Russians are kind of known for that, this brooding. It's not malaise. Is it ennui? Mm -hmm. Traumatic. <laughs> yeah, it's... it's um, well, I remember that there was a, uh, now when I direct and teach, I always go into my associations and share them. It's not because I want to tell about myself. That isn't the purpose at all. The purpose is that it's in the tradition of Stanislavski School of Acting, and Sonia did it, and I know Vaktangov did it, is to the director tells what his experience or her experiences are that are analogous, because he, I don't always ask you what your images are. That's personal. But I know that if I tell mine, that you will have your own. You will get associations. And this mood that she's in is something that has been permeating the family for the last year. But you trying to pull out of it. You have pulled out of it. You're trying to. You have, you're trying to by... Well, gambling, escaping, playing the violin. And marrying Natasha. And marrying Natasha. Yeah. But to me, this is a reminder of how I'm not doing so well. Mm. My father died a year ago today, and despite the fact that it's a happy day, um, it's also a reminder of my scorecard, which is not so good. Okay. I just want you to think about that. Okay. Now, we, what should we call the first act? You did mention something very close to, I think. We need to give it a name. We need to name the first act like it was, were its own play. And that event is what we're going to try to create. The uh, event? Well, the event is Irena Saint's Day. That's the main event. Right, what, okay. Is there a metaphoric name we can oh, give it that yeah, symbolizes yeah. what's the mood and atmosphere of the household? Um, I think she like, said it earlier. Rebirth? Was yeah, that new it? beginning. Rebirth. Beginning dreams. Okay. Is it a celebration of, the, of a new life? Yeah. Sure. yeah I think Let's so. see an improvisation. The four of you are all together and you're making plans for this. It's the night before and everybody's very up and you're celebrating the new life that's going to start tomorrow with the birthday. And just choose an objective in your mind. Think of how you would treat each other physically. Don't worry about You can do a lot of it in silence if you want. Just think how are you going to relate. I want you just to find your relationship of as loving siblings. To celebrate the new life. To celebrate. Get ready. Make plans for tomorrow's party. Who's going to take charge? Who's the initiator? Olga. Okay, who has the counteraction? Okay, which is what? Which is, I think, my counteraction is that I'm continually counteracting my own mood. Okay, come from yourselves. Don't worry about not knowing how the characters will behave. Forget the characters, they don't exist. All that exists are the four of you are brothers and sisters. What are you going to do? We'll do it. Let's do it. Let's, yeah, do it. let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> well, can we get started anytime? Right now. Okay. Silent or speechless? Is it Irina? It's an improv. Do as you want. Huh? Irina? Irina. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that you should wear your hair like this because it looks much more becoming when you pulled it away from your face. You think so? Yes, yeah, I do. Is Andre. the food ready? Is, has everything been prepared? Is the food on the way? Well, Masha is supposed to bring food for us tomorrow. Um, did you have time to put that together yet? Thank you. Uh, it will be no problem. I'll, I'll have mm. it just, just, just as you want it. Okay, wonderful. Oh, we're we're yeah. going to have people here and we're going to dance and there's going to be music, right? Is well, the, the band going to come yes. and we're going to have people dancing yes. all over. I can yes. just wait. Remember like the olden days? Back in Moscow, I remember oh. no, my papa having these parties and these dances oh. and hundreds of people coming. Do you think it'll be like that, Olga? Moscow. Gosh. <laughs> yes, it will be like that. It will be like that tomorrow, like it was when we were in Moscow. 
And Mama was alive and Papa was alive. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Have you picked out your dress yet? I'm going to wear a white dress. A white dress. We should all wear white or some colors that are very light tomorrow. That would be so great. You guys seem like you have this figured out. I'll, okay. I'll just take oh it right You are not going to get away with running away from Jesus. us. Mom, 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 you're not going to get away with this. Are you going to go see Natasha? Not with Natasha tonight, you're with us. Okay. We know what you're up to. Not with that little... I'm not up to anything. Hey, you have three girls right here. Why would you need someone like her? Exactly. Why would you need someone? <laughs> Come from yourself, Karida. Um, Just do what you would do. Okay. Physically. I would <sighs> let them do what they're doing. I'm talking to Karida. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, so you'll play the violin for us tomorrow? I will. Oh, violin yes. Very good. Okay. okay. So we'll start, people will arrive, and you'll play the violin. And you, you'll read some poetry for us out loud? Yes, yes definitely. The Maybe you'll play the piano good. for us too. I would love I would to love hear to you play, play the piano again. I would love to play again. the piano. I'd love to play the piano for you. Oh yeah, you haven't played in a really long time. You still love playing so much. I don't know whatever happened. Well, she doesn't want to play. Well, why not? You can play. You play beautifully. You used to make yourself yeah. happy. I'll play the violin. You play the piano. <laughs> All right. And and I'm dance. happy to play the violin. Dance. Dance. Right, 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 right. Maybe there'll be a handsome baron that we could have you dance with. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think Definitely any handsome baron. No. Oh. <laughs> Definitely leaving now. We're going to no see you baron. tomorrow. Happy birthday. Well, it's tomorrow. You have to come back. And you are going to be here, a part of it, and you can tell me then. So that doesn't count. The food is ready, the wine's bought. It'll be a beautiful day. Happy birthday. This is lovely. Right where you're at right now. You found a lot of physicality. By forgetting the character, just come from yourself at this point. You have to exist in the imaginary circumstances, but you can't hold all the circumstances of the play in your mind in the beginning. You have to train yourself to it step by step, sketch by sketch. You felt the difference, huh?